Hey, happy Tuesday to you. More specifically, a happy snowy Tuesday to you. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. This is your CBS 58 quick cast and that snow has been falling pretty much all day and some pretty impressive totals racking up, Drew. Yes, yeah, some spots between four and five inches. We'll take a quick look at the reports before we get to the forecast. Five inches in Delafield, four in New Berlin, over three in Waukesha, Brookfield, Greenfield, Hales Corners, Milwaukee, only six tenths of an inch, just shy uh, of that inch when we typically average that around December 1st. What about overnight? Yeah, another round of some snow will be possible, especially closer to the lakefront after midnight. Notice right around the Sheboygan area, that band will move through all of our lakeside counties. Still probably pretty mixy right along the lakefront, but I wouldn't be surprised within that band overnight throughout tomorrow morning before about noon that we see an additional inch or two inches of snow tonight, though some slushy roads possible, especially west of the lake. A refreeze will be expected away from the lakefront. Temperatures dropping into the 20s. Well, sticking with the snow, thank you, Drew. The roads have been messy and even dangerous at times today. Wisconsin State Troopers advising if you don't have to leave your house, don't stay home. If you're driving on the roads, if you have to, they do encourage you, of course, to be cautious, slow down and give yourself extra space. It was an emotional and heart wrenching day in Waukesha on the verge of the Daryl Brooks sentencing. Those impacted most by the Christmas parade attack last year gave their final impact statements in court and perhaps no one captured the emotions better than David Sorensen. Today he remembered his wife Virginia Sorensen and the others who lost their lives in the parade that day. When it thunders, I imagine that Jackson is blasting a home run over the fence. When there is a rainbow, I will imagine the dancing grannies, Jenny, Tammy, Lee, and Bill, with them dancing along its lines. When there is a ray of sunshine poking through the clouds, I will imagine it is Jane <sighs> smiling down on us. When it snows like it did this morning, I will imagine God's love giving us a blanket and comfort. When I see a blue light, I see this community's commitment to help heal and support each other. May those six rest in peace and all those affected continue to heal. A big reward paid to an anonymous person who helped lead Milwaukee police to a man wanted for a deadly shooting. Our partner Milwaukee Crime Stoppers paying $11,000 to the anonymous tipster. It led them to the arrest of Jordan Tate. The man accused of opening fire outside Brownstone Social Lounge in February, killing 31 year old Crystal Tucker and injuring others. Tate was on the run for months, finally taken into custody last month. Well, a minor miracle today in Pewaukee. Check that out. A small plane crashing at Western Lakes Golf Club. On board that plane, three humans and 53 rescue dogs. Thankfully, all the dogs are OK and the three people escaped with minor injuries. The dogs were being flown to the Humane Animal Welf Welfare Society or Haws from Louisiana. They will be available for adoption soon. And today, Natalie Shepard taking a wintry walk through the village of Dousman for our CBS 58 hometowns tour from Casey's Creations to Bicycle Doctor Nordic Ski Shop, crafting something special kind of what Dousman people do. Natalie closed out her visit with some tasty treats at Brick House. Now, if you'd like to see more of the hometown adventures, all of them, over 50 of them, we have them all on our website, cbs58.com. Well, it is a busy sports night, especially for college basketball fans. The Badgers are in Green Bay for an in-state showdown at 8 o'clock tonight. Marquette visits Purdue at 730. Plus, don't forget the Packers face the Tennessee Titans Thursday night at Lambeau Field. And coming up tonight on the CBS 58 News at 9 and 10, overtime trends at the Milwaukee Police Department. Why officers have racked up hundreds of extra hours. Plus, our team coverage on winter weather continues. We will see you tonight, but for now, that is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. We appreciate you watching.